Hello and welcome in this video series of Azure Database Servers for MySQL. Today we are going to learn how we can connect to Azure MySQL Database Server using MySQL Workbench. In the previous video, we learned how we can create Azure Database for MySQL using the Azure Portal. If you are new to the channel, I will provide link to that video in the description box. To connect to MySQL database using MySQL Workbench, let's first download official version of MySQL Workbench. Search for MySQL Workbench download. So here this first link appears dev.mysql.com slash downloads. Click on this. So here we will choose this Windows x86 depending upon your operating system. You can choose Linux or something else that you have. So we have Windows, Windows x86 64 MSI installer. Click on download. So here either we can sign up or log into the site and then download or we can just start our download without signing in. Click on this. No thanks, just start my download. In the next video, we will learn how we can create databases and tables on Azure MySQL database server using MySQL Workbench. So the download is complete. Click on next. Just cho choose the location of where the installer will be installed. So here we can go with either custom or complete. Let's go with complete by default. Click on install. So give the required permissions. Once the installation is done, it will open up for us MySQL Workbench. So finish. Once we have successfully installed MySQL Workbench, let's open it. MySQL Workbench, run as administrator. Give the required permissions. So I had already installed MySQL Workbench on my system before creating this video. I uninstalled it and then reinstalled it for demo purpose. So these are that's why these three connections are appearing here. So when you are launching it first time, click on this add connection button or you can click from here databases, connect to a database or click on this add button here, MySQL connections. So here you have to choose the connection name. It will be anything that you are interested in, something like MySQL database, my Azure database, whatever you want. It is just to identify or differentiate between other connections that are on your workbench. So then we have to provide this host name. So to get this host name, let's go to our browser, go to portal.azure.com. It's working. So here, this YouTube demo server click on this this is the server that we have created in the last video so let's go to this networking first so here first time when you are trying to connect to this server so you have to add your current IP address add current client IP address so I have already done this so that's why this option is not appearing here and also, if you want to connect from other Azure services, you can check this box, allow public access from any Azure service within Azure to this server. Then click on save. Once this is done, click on this connect button. So here you will find the host name, connection under connection details and username and enter the password that you have created while creating the database server. Let's copy this host name. Paste it here. 
then this port 3306 is by default let it be 3306 then we have to enter the username let's copy username from here paste it here then we have to enter the password we can store the password in store vault enter the password that we have created while creating the database server click on ok so we have not provided the name of the connection let me say this YouTube demo connection test click on okay so we have successfully added our database connection details but to open our database connection let's click on this my azure db so we have successfully connected our mysql database server for azure To view the schemas that we have already created let's click on the schema button we have two schemas one is a student schema that we had created last time in our last video using the azure portal we can also create one from here so in the next video we will learn how we can create tables database or sql procedures on the azure mysql database server using mysql workbench thank you